press the 4 key to view the job safety analysis for this task. This job safety analysis, or JSA, can help to prevent accidents. OSHA describes JSA as a technique that focuses on job tasks as a way to identify hazards before they occur. The JSA form usually consists of three parts. One, the steps of the task. Two, a list of hazards or potential hazards associated with each step. Three, remedies that will reduce or eliminate these hazards. While a JSA is usually written down, it can also be done in your head. Think through the steps. Identify hazards. Take steps to eliminate or reduce risk. This is a JSA for site preparation prior to the pouring of the dead man. Look at step one. Begin each task by looking around for environmental hazards. Housekeeping and slipper trip hazards are common environmental hazards. Other examples of environmental hazards include electrical lines, rough or uneven terrain, or working in a congested area where mobile equipment is being operated. found all the environmental hazards. At this shop, our exposures include material handling, fire safety, personal protections equipment, hand tools, and housekeeping. We'll focus on those today. Check your PDA for more information and hints on finding hazards in your workplace using the self-inspection process. Take five minutes to look around the shop and identify and correct any potential hazards you see. I'll let you know when the five minutes is up. Electrical boxes should remain closed when not in use to prevent employees from coming in contact with electrical circuits and equipment. Click on the box to close it. Your first task is to identify and correct environmental hazards. This is no different than what you did in Lesson 1. Now, connect the rigging to the hook. Let me know when you're ready to go on to step five. I was inspecting the cold feed bins earlier and I found a couple of hazards I want to show you. Look at the end of the conveyor. That box around the end is called a machine guard. Moving parts have the potential to cause severe injury. Machine guards like this one help to safeguard employees from accidentally getting caught. Last shift the plant was shut down for maintenance. Chances are there are some pieces of machinery that are still missing machine guards. As we go around the plant, point them out to me by identifying them as hazards. If you have any questions about hazard mode, check the help tab in the PDA or the interaction tutorial. This is a short video of the cold feed bins in action. I'm uploading it to your PDA. If you'd like to see it again, look for the cold feed bins in the manual. Breakout ready. 
dispatched to the drill string. You have a few choices here. 